guys i just wanted to do an update on the pupford uh supplies that i got and how that 30-day puppy free training program went i really enjoyed it i got um, a video and an article every day the video sometimes they were repeats which were fine um, and i did actually rewatch them multiple times but I did also skip a few. But the nice thing is like Isaac George does a really great job in breaking things down and even tells you to pause to train, go train your puppy with the techniques he's just shown you. So it is really helpful. He covers a lot of topics within one video. So I think that's why they're repeat. So you can kind of reinforce it with your puppy. So Good news on that. I would say when I brought, I started the 30 day uh, puppy training program, she already knew how to sit and do certain things. So that part was easy, but there were some things like teaching her to stand, which she still quite hasn't mastered, um, that I felt was helpful in how I can better train her. So I highly recommend it. It's free. It's 30 days and, um, it's, you don't have to actually do it for the full 30 I don't want to say that actually that's actually if you can do it great but if you can't i found myself playing catch up the articles are super interesting they're they're high value good content they talk about things like toxic and non-toxic plants that are safe for your dogs or not safe they also talk about the importance of dental chews or keeping your puppy's teeth clean they talk about cleaning um so and brushing and grooming so I thought it was really good and I enjoyed it and they weren't really long so it wasn't like you you know super long to have to dedicate a lot of time to go through so that's that the next thing I want to talk about are sort of the products I bought which I showed you last time and how well they are have fared with my dog the first one I'm going to talk about is this one this is the freeze-dried beef liver. I gave it to my friend's Bichon Frise Poodle Mix and she, her dog took to it really fast. I gave one to Bichon as a special treat when she pottied on her pee pad and she sniffed it. She wasn't sure what it was. It probably, you know, knowing that it's beef liver, it was probably um, very strong <laughs> smelling. So she licked it, tasted it a little bit, and then left it. Then I tried to feed it to her again. She did the same thing. She maybe nibbled on it, left it again. And then at some point she did take it and eat it in some corner. So overall, it, it looked like it took her to kind of get used to the taste, but she did take to it. And now I do feed um, these treats to her when she pees on her pee pad. So she's been taking to it without any issue. I just was really surprised. I expected her to like jump for these and she didn't. <laughs> so that brings me to the second product I got, which were the freeze dried salmon. And the cool thing was this was she actually really likes these. It has somewhat of a strong fish smell and she just will go for them right away. She'll, um, so that's great news. The funny thing with both these products is they are very, crispy she like bites into them and they you know they crunch I, i'm assuming they're like chips but given that they're only one calorie each i i do question the the tastiness uh, <laughs> i have yet to try dog food unless it's human grade grade I, I i find it hard to 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 consider even trying for safety possibly safety reasons but either way she um she does like them and that's the important thing and she will do tricks for them so I you know as um, Zach George said they are considered high value treats and since they're freeze dry they retain their flavor decently well so that's good news so I'm happy with both of those and like like I mentioned before they come with like over like about 475 treats so they are they last a long time I only give her a couple treats at a time and they're they're small so they're not crazy big or anything anyway the other one I want to talk about is actually this is the yak cheese which I'm still saving. I have not yet tried, so I will get back to you on this one. The I will say I gave um, 
a pack. I had gotten two packs, and my friend ended up taking the other pack for her dog. She said that he didn't know what to do with it. He now that dog is used to. I want to say he's about five or six, and he's used to eating food in tiny um, amounts. So I gave him a carrot, and he didn't know what to do with it. And then, then I chopped it up for him, because that's the Norton more way he likes to eat carrots and then he was all for it so i think with this because they're big he probably didn't know what to do with it my friend said he ended up leaving it and trading it for something else i don't know if she attempted to try to give it to him again but we'll see i'm still i'm still holding out that there's a lot of promise in this i'm actually waiting for her teeth to fall out so that um I'll, so she'll feel so she has another option when it comes to dealing with teething given everything else i've already gotten her to have so that brings me to the next one bully sticks these bully sticks are humongous it comes in four they're six inches long but the sizing on these is just huge like what well, the one i fed her the other day was extra thick and she's still gnawing on it i try to give it to her like 30 minutes at a time um so these are taking a long time and they're great for when i'm in work meetings so I'm also like taking it away from her so that it's just not always around so she can chew it when she wants to. Sometimes I do because I could tell she's like nipping at my ankles. I could tell she's really like, seems like she's really teething. And then the other one are the beef tendon shoes. I would say these are a definite win. I started out feeding these to her first. And she, um, let me show you, they are, a, I think it comes in a, a pack of four and they are huge they're huge and so she'll gnaw like maybe this much and i'll take it away and then she'll gnaw this much so it's it's lasted a long time i'm down to two pieces but i would say two and a half because she has like little bits that were broken up um, that i do let her chew on and they they work really well again for the those meetings or when i just need like quiet time for focusing on getting work done um, this is a win. I can tell she takes to this more a little bit more than the bully sticks, but they are both Good and they work and this is a good way for me to change things up even though they're both beef um, <laughs> Seems like this is a little easier to work with she chews on this a lot like she's like gnawing at it this one I think actually does soften and and um, Faster slightly faster from what I can tell so the crazy thing is that it dries up again and then, you know, I'll have that piece that she'll go for another day or another time. And then uh, I do want to show this one. I have not opened it yet. This is the reward for the chicken jerky. It looks pretty hard and chewy. I think this could t last some time or, um, for her. It's funny. She doesn't eat that much chicken. I think her chicken is through her puppy kibble. But, yep, this one um, to, be, uh, to be continued on, on this. And then I just wanted to um, let you guys know, I put her, like her beef liver treats in little jars. It felt silly to have this huge bag. Um, this is fine, but when I give her treats, instead of having to open that bag all the time, I just, I've been using these and I'll refill them. Right now she's playing with the water bottle. <laughs> uh, which actually is surprisingly a, a good toy. It's, it's noisy. She actually plays with it and it keeps her distracted the only thing is i would say when i am in meetings you know if she is playing with it there's like crackling sound or that sound you might have just heard going on in the background so i prefer to distract her with a chew toy for my work meetings um but whenever i'm not in one then she can play with whatever she wants and the noise doesn't really bother me so that's all i have and that's my update on the pupford stuff i i do, I do like the products so far, so I'm pretty sure I'll go get more beef tendons at some point, but I have plenty to work with now and for some time, so we'll just kind of put a pin in that and see. Uh, I did play with a fishing toy um, for her, but she grabs the string, and I, she, I feel like she hasn't fully learned to leave it, so I'm hesitant to give it to her again especially because she's teething I, I don't also want to be careful so she doesn't like potentially rip her teeth out i'm assuming that's hard to do so 
yeah anyway that's all i have today thanks for listening bye